In this episode, I finally get some work on my antique mall space. A lot of you have asked where it is. We put the address in the description box. It's in Encinitas next to Orange Theory. And my dad builds a paint bar at the shop in the style of a surf shack. Ellie and I go to Kobe's and get a bunch of stuff for free. And then I paint my plant, my fake plant. I paint it pink because I went to Z Gallery and I saw this $350 version. We have a lot of fun projects for you coming up, including my dad and my sisters visit to Home Depot for their new planter boxes. But my dad is not happy about the prices. $526.64. <laughs> My dad's not wrong. Prices have definitely gone up, especially in California. I know things are expensive in California, but that's kind of crazy. I what kind of magical strawberries those were, but we try to do as much DIY as possible to offset prices. All right, so we got four pressure treated 10 footers, and that's going to build a box right here. And one right in front of grandpa's. My dad built planter boxes for each of the cottages and we left the bottom open so we could put in plants that would grow up really nice and big and not get root bound. All right, there we are. We're just gonna paint it next. And grandpa's halfway done with his first layer. Cool. <laughs> oh look, here are the planter boxes. Very nice. How do you like your new place? I love it. Okay. The are best you, in the West. Are you ready to get it all designed up? Yeah. Okay. What? My dad definitely needs a new rug and we're gonna repaint the coffee table. And we need to build him an entertainment center because that is a very lonely looking situation over there. Are you the good boy, Levi? Are you the good boy? Oh, you're such a good boy. I had them leave the bottom of the planter boxes open. That way they can put substantial plants in here and their roots can spread out and um, they don't get root bound. We have not yet done anything with the ladder that my sister hung up last week, but we're gonna get to it in the next episode. We're going to Home Depot to get some plants and some decor for dad's house. My dad wanted me to pick out the plants for his planter box, so we all went over to Home Depot, we got him a new rug, and we sketched out some plans for his new entertainment center. There he goes. $526.64. But we got all these plants and a new ceiling fan, a ton of soil, and a rug. Okay, here's the plant layout. Dad, are you happy? All right. I told him to take a picture so that he would know how to plant them once he removes them. Levi! Pro tip. Buy a good cart. <laughs> Here we are, it's Friday morning, and we're going to find the junk, junky junk. I like to go to Kobe Swap Meet on Fridays because most of the dealers have vintage and the prices are really good. And this time we got a ton of free stuff, so much that we couldn't even fit it in the car. Notice the missing tire on my swap meet cart? This thing has been through a lot. I love vintage art and old picture frames. They are great for showing off the different paint colors and they sell really well. And these compacts were really inexpensive. I did not get the rocks, but I was tempted. What'd you find? I got this heavy duty tray for five dollars. Five dollars. We're loading up the cart. Jamie, we're buying this for you. I mean, not for you, but in honor of you. <laughs> I found these great chairs for only $5. We paid for them and then left them there. 
and Ellie told me that the guy could have sold them for a lot more. We got back an hour later and she was right. He was really mad at us because he said I could have sold those chairs for so much more money and you guys took forever to come pick them up. <laughs> Take it down and I'm asking 15. 15. These are good for the decoupage paper and the, and the transfers. I like the way it's painted. It looks like a turquoise <laughs> iris. Oh, Is it a win? Is this a win? Five dollars. Coming up next week, I'm going to put a new IOD transfer on that suitcase and put it in my antique mall space. These are kind of cool. Look. We have a DIY jewelry bar at my shop and I'm always looking for unusual items to put in there. We have all kinds of charms and necklace chains and jump rings so that you can make your own jewelry. I look for things that are unusual, things that you wouldn't find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And those pieces are so cool and handmade and I can't wait to get them in the jewelry bar. Look at all these tins. Are you happy with your tins? I am. They're fun. Jamie is going to be jelly. Okay, I have two bags full. Debbie's cart is full. The suitcase is stuffed and she still is trying to fit more. We found a bunch of vintage tins. Some of them were really cool and some of them were eh. But they were all three dollars each so i got a whole bunch of them and we will be listing them on our website very soon so we've got a nice load but we're going back for more verona got some shoes for us oh to jamie ray we should just send that to her this is so good I'm gonna paint the frame aqua and it's gonna be legit. Our cart was full, so we had to go back to the car and unload it. We still had to pick up our $5 chairs, but we didn't know that we were about to hit the mother load. It's so like kitschy, kind of good. That's very interesting. Verona forced her to go look for some her. more junk in the trunk. All right, come on. Got a bundle of 80 for you. Yeah. All right, we got some more stuff. We're only halfway done though. The colors brought us in. What is this? I found this creepy art that I kind of regret not buying. And then Ellie talked me out of getting this guitar too. But then I found this very cool old rusty cart. I am going to seal in the rust and add some IOD transfers. We were almost done for the day and then we found a lady who was packing up her car. She did not want to take anything with her and everything was free. We got a whole carload full of stuff. They're so stinking fun. The super awesome lady's getting rid of a bunch of stuff, so we got a bunch of things and this screen and thing for free. We are packed, except we still need to fit a chair and a, two chairs. Two chairs and what else? And a cart. And a cart. We're rolling out on Debbie's design diary. Here she comes. We gotta figure out how to get all of this. Not even all of it. And what's still left in here. Do you think that we can do it? All right, the car is filled and Ellie's gonna do the driving because I do not like to drive when I can't see. Plus she hates it when she has to be the passenger. Hey, I'm just sitting in the car eating a gummy bear, a keto gummy bear, waiting for Ellie to get out of the bathroom because she had to wash her hands. It is almost seven o'clock in the morning. I am here before church to unload everything from Kobe's. This is the situation. I'm sitting on my sofa editing this video right now. I have to say, I love after the video is done, but sometimes I am not in the mood to edit. If you have ever edited a video, you know 
Let me know in the comments. Do you like editing? So I think Ellie must have been tired of editing too because she sent me these clips from last week in this week's video. But I am just gonna let it play in case you missed it. It was the head base that I did with the molds and it turned out really good. So if you didn't see that, go back and watch last week's video. It shows you exactly how I turned a $15 clearance head mold into this fabulous piece of art. Okay, how cool is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's me. Page, I think, 86 through, I don't know, it's like 16 pages. After I left Barnes & Noble, I went over to Z Gallery. I almost never buy anything in these expensive places, but I go in there to get inspiration. And I saw these painted plants for $350. And then I remembered my cheap fake plant that I bought at Home Depot last week. And I did not like that plant. I was getting ready to give it to the thrift store. And then I got an idea. I decided to paint my plants pink. One of my favorite color combinations is green and pink, so I purposely let some of the green show through. Now recently I have bought some real plants and I'm really worried that I am going to murder them like I have in the past. My deck is filled with plants and my house is filled with plants. I love the look of it, but if things don't go well, I plan on painting a lot more fake plants. Gucci! You like the egg chair? No. There she is, she's at work. Smile, my niece. She's the um, hardest working teena teenager. <laughs> what do you think of the decoupage paper? Here we go. This is how it's looking so far. I love this way of displaying decoupage paper. It's so pretty. Debbie's bringing in the frames and some cute boxes. Gucci, do you like my booth? Do you like my booth? Are you the cutest girl ever? The decoupage paper is something that we sell every day and you can find it on our website. I'm gonna put the link below. And I walked around the antique mall space because there are so many good vendors and I wanted to give you a peek of some of my favorite things. I love you, Madeline. graduation ceremony and I'm filming this because grandpa did not film himself doing the DIY projects this week and Danielle was very busy so this is what you get of them <laughs> for the funny. week say hello good to see hi <laughs> <laughs> we tell him to film but he doesn't always do it and what's your excuse sister busy taking care of business. Yeah. My dad worked on this very cool paint bar at the shop 
and he put an old window in. I absolutely love it. We have to paint it in the next episode. So what do you think, Dad? Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. My dad built this for <laughs> us. He's so good. And it's an unbreakable glass. Yeah, it's a window <laughs> without glass for safety reasons. Hey, I just painted this bookshelf. I'm gonna decoupage the back, paint the shelves that go inside, and this is going over to the antique mall space. And Jamie Ray's chinoiserie paper. You can see the seam there, but that's right where the shelf hits. So all I have to do now is wax it and take it to the antique mall space. So $7 car wash because it's springtime and the bird is constantly pooping on that mirror right there. Do you ever worry that the car behind you is going to hit you in one of these things? And there she is. She's in her home and I like her. I take a sip and I'm in hell. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below. And subscribe because we've got a new video coming next week. Thanks for watching. Is that your grandma? Bailey. Your grandma. Is that your Dee Dee? <laughs> Gucci, that's my shoe. No.